did I really just pack up all of my things and move to Southern California? Yeah. What up guys, Jessica Honesty here with The Honest Lifestyle. Thanks so much for tuning in. Man, it's been a whirlwind, crazy couple of months and I just wanna talk about it because I never really had the chance to just process everything that actually took place. Well, I got an opportunity um, to, to move, to relocate. For a lot of y'all that don't know me, I'm big on goals, I'm big on doing a whole vision board. And about two years ago, I made a vision board that basically had the state of California on it. it. Didn't say where, it just had the state of California, but it did have a star. And I went back and looked and that star was right on over top of San Diego. So you just gotta be careful with what you ask for because once you put it out there, it's bound to come true. A lot of people don't realize that. Like, words are very powerful. Um, that I would write down stuff and I would see things come to life. Um, there's a book out and even a documentary. They did a movie out on it. It's called The Secret. If you haven't had a chance to, to read it or even check it out, you can go on Netflix and watch it. It tells you a lot about manifesting. That's normally what I do. Um, every year, January 1st, I will make a vision board. And so on this particular vision board, it, it basically said I wanted to move to Cali. So here we are. Yeah, Cali. I literally had one month to get everything together um, and make that, that trek. A lot of y'all that don't know me, I'm from the East Coast, so Virginia, DMV, DC, Maryland, and VA. So I had exactly one month to get everything together, um, try to figure out where I was gonna live and put all my ducks in a row and how to ship my car. Oh, my car is my baby, that's my comfort zone. I packed up all of my stuff in my car. I had multiple suitcases. Um, I didn't have a lot of stuff, but I, for the other things that I did have and had to leave at home, I either gave them away or um, let my parents keep it. So, <laughs> so I pretty much came out here with four suitcases, a car full of junk and a smile. Um, a few of my friends allowed me to stay with them and I stayed with them because I was waiting for my roommate at the time, supposedly, to, um, for her roommate at the time to move out and so I was in the transition stage. Um, so I stayed with my friends for about three months. During those three months, I felt like everything was just falling on top of me in a negative light. I lost a lot of family members. I'm the one that's home uh, most of the time and I'm always going to all the functions and um, when I moved out here, literally I lost like two family members in like a week. Uh, I got out here on the 15th of July and on the 19th my grandfather passed away. So I had to take that in. Uh, we got a new place. Um, my mind was racing as is. And then my first day on the job, my mom called me at 5 in the morning Pacific time, 8 in the morning Eastern time, to tell me that my grandfather passed away. It was really rough. It was a rough time. I tried to remain very strong, and I think I did a really good job with that, but that was one of the challenges um, that I endured early while coming out here on the West. Um, I talked to my granddad before I left, and I said, Granddad, I'm moving to Cali. He was like, okay, Jessica. <laughs> Rest in peace, Granddad. After that, I had a bunch of other deaths that took place, so it was really hard um, moving out of here because I didn't have the, the chance to really spend time with the family and, and to grieve and to, to see loved ones during that time, so it was hard. So now let's transition into me moving um, into my place. So 
finally, come September, the room became available. Um, my roommate's roommate moved out and it was time for me to move in. It was a beautiful high-rise apartment downtown San Diego on the 26th floor. It was floor to um, ceiling windows and it was just like, what? I was like moving on up and I was just like in the penthouse and I could look down and, and see hey and the mountains and the sunrises every morning but that was short-lived because it just didn't work out and I won't go into detail as to what happened but um, yeah I literally just moved into my new place as you can see last week it hasn't even been a week yet I'll definitely give an apartment tour coming up soon now here I am out of everything that I've done so far, I can say that this is something that I'm very proud of. I did it mostly by myself um, with the moral support of my parents and my sister. Um, I definitely just did it all by myself. Never thought I would because I've just been such a homebody. I would stay home and I don't say homebody, I'm gonna say I'm just used to the to my area, my surroundings and where I grew up all my life. I've only left the area one time and that was to go to Greenville, North Carolina to go to school. And even there, and I was packing up every weekend to go back home. <laughs> That's another story. <sighs> That's another story. It's definitely doable. Anybody can do it. Seriously, anybody can, can do it. It's just you gotta put your mind to it. If it's something that you really want, just think of it as a positive light and say, hey, I'm going to make this happen. How? I don't know. But it's gonna work out. And here we are five months later, and it worked out. But never, like never stop at no, keep pushing. You know how many times I've been told no? A lot. But I would say maybe stronger, maybe Push more so anyway this is my journey so yeah thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time